Hey, seventh graders. Okay, this is your histograms practice one. And as you go through these slides, I'll help you more with slides two and three, and a little less with slides four and five. And then on five, uh, six and seven, you're on your own, okay? All right, so slide two. Jerry counted the number of dandelions in his neighbor's yards. The numbers are reported below, 47, 11, 2, 12, and so on and so forth. First thing you should do is start your tally. And I'm gonna use the letter X for these. So how many do I have between zero and 10? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, okay. 11 to 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, 21 to 30, let's see, one, two, that's just it, two. All right, 31 to 40, one, two, and that's it. So now you've got to take these rectangles and stretch them up to the correct number. So the zero to 10 interval is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it stops here. 11 to 20 interval is seven. And I just realized that I don't have a seven here. So you're gonna have to pull it up above the six where the seven would be. So that was my mistake. I didn't make enough uh, numbers on the Y axis. So that was my mistake. 21 to 30 is two stops about here and 31 to 40 is exactly the same number so I'm going to stop exactly where that is okay then you're going to answer some questions how many dandelions did Jerry count in total so you're going to need to add up all of these numbers at the top here okay how many yards had between 21 and 30 dandelions so you're going to look at that interval which were there more yards with 0 to 10 or 31 to 40 so you're comparing this interval to this interval. Which interval contains the most number of yards within it? So you just look at the, the tallest bar and you name that interval by its numbers, okay? And what percent of yards contain 21 to 40? Now you're probably thinking, wait, there's no interval that says 21 to 40. That's because you need to consider both of these, okay? This one starts with 21. This one ends with 40, so you're considering both of them, okay? So how do you figure out the percentage? You um, find out the numbers within these two uh, brackets, and there's four numbers. So start with 21. We don't have a 21, so start with 22, 28, um, 40, and 36. You add up all those numbers. That's your denominator. That's the number in the bottom of the fraction. And then, oh, sorry, no, that's the number in the top of the fraction. That's your numerator for number five. And your denominator is your answer from number one, okay? And then you need to simplify that fraction and then put it into the calculator and then turn it into a percent, okay? I know you can do it. It's not as hard as it sounds. So find the total number of dandelions that goes in the denominator and then find how many dandelions were in these two intervals. Put that in the numerator, put it in your calculator and find the percent. All right, for this one, you've got to write down your intervals. Okay, you're gonna make your own. I would start with zero to something, okay? And then your last one is gonna be a number two and then find your last your biggest number and round up so it looks like your biggest number is 55 so I would maybe go to 60 okay all right so that's how I'm helping you there Then you've got to name all of your intervals okay uh, sorry so you do your intervals you do your tally then you name your intervals you name your numbers on the left, 
I think this is called your frequency. Then you've got to bring your bars down here, okay? So I'm going to let you do all that. Then you stretch your bars up to the right place. When you answer these questions, Brenda wants to attract more customers to her store. What price range of products should she make available at all times? So you're going to look for the bar that's the highest, okay? And that'll tell you which one she wants to keep in her store at all times, right? What is the most amount of money a customer spent in the store? You're looking for the highest number in this list, okay? Uh, what is the least amount a customer spent? So you're going to find the opposite. You're going to find the smallest number in the list. And then finally, you're going to find the middle number. So example, and this is called the median. It's the middle. If I have, um, if I have five students and their ages are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, the median is 13. It's the number in the middle, okay? Um, if there is no middle number, if you have an even number of numbers, find me the two middle numbers. So if like, if this were a list of six numbers, you wouldn't have a middle number. So you would give me the two middle numbers, okay? All right. Then you've got to make um, your table and stuff. I would copy, I would just go ahead and copy all of this. You select it, right click, copy, and maybe paste it onto the slide. That might be a good idea. All right, here's your data. Make a table just like this, and then make a histogram with all of this stuff. And then you're going to come up with three questions that you would ask your classmates about your histogram. Remember, questions start with who, what, when, where, why, how much, okay? This slide is worth six points. This one is worth five, so that's 11. This one's worth four, so that's 15 points. This one's worth five, so that's 19 points. Plus five is 24. Plus five is 29. So this whole thing is worth 29 points. Okay, students, good luck. Do well.